envelope tickets? Yeah. Have a great day. Thank you. Yeah. Take care. All right. Yay. So we are at the Biltmore Estate here in Asheville, North Carolina. It is rather touristy and kind of a fancy schmancy thing. This is, I think, the number one tourist draw in Asheville. It's a really beautiful property. Uh, there are a bunch of gardens and the home itself, which is, uh, which is very historic, is very beautiful. And um, there is an art exhibit going on right now that we're really interested in checking out. And his name is, I forget, but Jameson knows. Dale Chihuly, something like that. So he is a glass artist and his stuff is really intricate and beautiful. Come with us and check it out. So as you see, right behind us is the Biltmore Estate. There is a giant glass exhibit. All right, let's walk over and check it out. We're just kind of slowly taking everything in and drinking some kombucha. Yeah, we're drinking the brand called Capital Kombucha. It's made in Marshall, North Carolina, which is like 25 minutes north of Asheville. Yep. And this is the apple berry flavor. Everything's organic. All of it is fresh pressed juice, no concentrate, something like that. So it's not bad. That is awesome. Okay. Gosh, I wonder what happens if it storms or if it would hail or... Oh my gosh. I wonder how fragile it is. Yeah, I mean, it's all glass. So we are in a part of the gardens right now. It's really, really pretty. Lots and lots of glass. 16 titled exhibits. Oh, wow. Yeah. So I'm guessing we only seen maybe, what, like five or six already? Yeah, just a fraction of it. And there's one I'm excited to see that's actually inside the house. It's in the winter garden. Oh, that sounds cool. Um, yeah. So it's a little covered, yeah, but like, so kind of house area. Yeah. That sounds neat. Yeah. Alright, so this is absolutely amazing looking. So most of the color is behind us here. Mm -hmm. But if you can see that, it is so beautiful. There's just so many different kinds of plants and trees and shrubs and just mm -hmm. vines and just different kinds of vegetation just everywhere. Herbs, fun things, just everything. Everything. So, this is the paintbrush tower. The paintbrush tower. The paintbrush tower. Um, it's really pretty. I would have named it Fire Something, but it is really nice. <laughs> it is. It's very complimentary to all the colorful flowers and stuff. Okay. 
Prettier than any flower oh, or any piece of fine art. Yes, yeah, sweetie. Yeah. Fuzzy cactus. It looks dangerous though. <laughs> Fuzzy but dangerous. Whoa. What are these? Alright. <laughs> Alright, so we're hanging out here in this uh greenhouse which is absolutely beautiful yeah, but gorgeous. right where we're sitting it smells like manure <laughs> there was a hummingbird in here earlier too there was yeah right now we are in the greenhouse area exploring the gardens and checking out some of the glass exhibits it is absolutely gorgeous here and we figured we would shoot some footage and show you around we plan on getting some food a little later so we'll take you with for that as well but come along watch what we're doing that sounds weird. <laughs> Creep on us. Creep on us now. So what do you think of all the glass so far? I think it's beautiful. Um, it was really interesting because I think it's very complementary to the plants and flowers in the garden. This garden is beautiful. I mean, it's huge. It's amazing. It's like paradise. It's crazy. If you do come to Asheville and you get a chance to visit Biltmore, I would definitely recommend it. Um, definitely don't miss the gardens though. I think the house is amazing, but I think this is not genuinely like my, my favorite part of it. I like it too. The, the house is more history. This is more just natural beauty. So play tourist for a day if you come in the town. It's fun. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. It's busy but fun. Love yeah. you guys. Bye. Who's that girl? <laughs> Very hungry person. So I think we're gonna go get some food, right? Yes. Alright, let's go do that. Alright, so what did we get? We got the um, sweet potato and black bean pita sandwich. We switched the yogurt out for salsa to make it pita. Yeah. Um, there aren't like a whole lot of crazy awesome people options here to build more. So it's pretty nice that there's something at least that we can eat. For 15 bucks for that, I think it's a pretty good deal for it being the build more. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, I'm pretty happy about it. I'm really hungry. I love sweet potato and black beans together. Yeah. So I think it'll be good. We double check the bread. It's vegan. Pita bread. It's vegan. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> This is their vegan pita sandwich. Um, I had forgotten to mention that it comes with tomatoes. So it's sweet potato, uh, black beans, tomatoes, and if you get it without the yogurt, it is vegan. 
we swap the yogurt for salsa. But it's like nice to find an option here, at least something before we go explore the house. It's pretty good. Yeah, not too bad. I mean, it's really just tomatoes, mostly sweet potatoes and black beans, but you do what you gotta do. Alright. I would say the, the sandwich that we got was good, but it wasn't really like inspired or anything like that. Not like the best thing ever, but it's kind of nice to just have an option um, at a place like this, when otherwise there really isn't a lot to choose from. So I would recommend getting it if you're here. I think it's worth the price. Vegans need to eat too. Mm -hmm. It's true. <laughs> Step right up. So far, it's classically beautiful. So, this is the Madonna room where Madonna <laughs> stayed. This was really amazing when it was actually was so cool. filled with water. Not how most people live back in the day. Yeah, that's why I corrected myself. I was like, mm, yeah, well, to see how you know wealthy people live back in the day. Yeah, the Gilded Age. Yeah, everything's very ornate and interesting. So we just finished up at the Dolmore House, and that was really interesting. Yeah. And a good educational, historical, educational experience. Mm-hmm. It was cool. Um, I think we like the gardens better. Yeah. Uh, most of the glass exhibits were outside. So we really, really enjoyed that. That was a lot of fun. And I think we're going to head over to this area called Antler Village or something like that, which is about a four mile drive from here, but it's still within the Biltmore State. The and property is huge. Yeah, it's, <laughs> um, I don't even know how big it is, but it's a huge, huge place. So we're going to go over there and check that out. I think there is a winery, but we don't drink anymore, or at least I don't. So I'm not going to be partaking in anything like that but we're gonna look for some food and just kind of I don't know bop around so yep Can come with us with? this is the garden that we were in earlier and now we are doing the caravan car tour 
and the four mile trek to Antler Village. And I don't know what else to say, but this was really fun so far. And I think we've been here for about four hours, so you could definitely spend the whole day here. And uh, if you've never been to the Biltmore House, you'll probably end up spending more time than we did. We were in and out in probably about an hour's time, but um, you can do audio tours and stuff like that too. Yeah, there's a bunch of pears. Oh, that was awesome. Yeah. Mm, I wish I would have known that because I like pears. Would have picked one. Pick a winner. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, so you can do audio tours and stuff like that. I think the tickets are pretty darn expensive. So, uh, yeah. Chill <laughs> oh. on that. Yo, guys. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got that strawberry water. That strawberry sparkling water that's free from calories. Yeah. <laughs> and sweeteners and sodium. Um, yeah. So, we're just taking this meandering path. Uh, at five miles an hour and so yeah it is four miles away so it's gonna take us 45 minutes to an hour to get there I'm guessing yeah be prepared to have a pretty slow moving day mm -hmm. when you come here it's so busy there's lots of uh, lots of older folks um, that come here to see the historical home and all the beautiful things that is involved with this property but yeah be prepared to be taking it at a crawl yep excuse me yeah yeah all right so we just walked through the bamboo forest all right so hiking trail Good luck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Monkey weed. It's just juvenile. Monkey weed. You can use it if you have poison rash. Or if you're a monkey. Monkey's pretty. Yeah. This is really pretty. It's definitely like a more manicured trail. Going over a little bridge here. We're at the Bass Pond and the waterfall on the Biltmore Estate. As you can see, the Bass Pond. The Bass Pond. It's pretty uninspired. Um, yeah, we didn't even get any food. We're gonna go to one of our favorite places in town instead. The food that we had at the little courtyard at the bake shop, it was good for what it was, but it wasn't like awesome. You know, if, if you're forced to eat there and you're hungry, I would get that. But uh, maybe just pack a lunch or something. Yeah, um, pack a lunch. Yeah. Eat before you go or um, just plan on eating afterwards. I wouldn't eat here if I were you. No. If you're vegan yeah. and you're used to good vegan food, don't eat here. Yeah, they're not very vegan friendly. They totally should be, but they're not. But otherwise, it's cool to go to, um, you know, just for a beautiful historic experience and to experience some ornate, amazing gardens and um, maybe in the future they will have more art exhibits. Um, the last exhibit today was their very first one, so hopefully it went well and they will have more interesting things like that. So if you are in town in Asheville, I would suggest probably just going if you have the time. It's very touristy, but it's definitely worth it and really, really fun and beautiful. And it's really romantic if you're here on a date or whatever. So that's what we did. Ooh, la, la. Um, <laughs> thank you for joining us today. And uh, if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, leave us a comment. If you haven't subscribed already, please hit that subscribe button. And we appreciate y'all watching, and we will see you in the next episode. Thanks, y'all. Bye.